Capri. Right, uh, I'm gonna I'm just be me, straight up, real talk. I'm probably gonna be all over the place. It's been a minute since I've done this YouTube shit. I don't even know where to begin, honestly. Uh, right now, I'm vlogging off my phone because my camera crop lens on 50 millimeters, so it's not gonna really show me and everything. Um, I'm out of breath because I have a story for y'all. So as you all know, I just, I recently moved to, not recently, it's been like six months, but I moved to Florida this year. And I've been like little by little shipping stuff from my crib and CT to here. Um, so I finally shipped my shoes here. And UPS, bro, I hope y'all watching this, bro. I promise you, if shoes are missing out of this box, bro, I promise you y'all owe me bread. I'm coming for y'all, I promise you, bro. Sorry to start the video off like this, bro, but it, it, it's just crazy, so. I have a lot to catch up on, man. Life has just did a complete 360. Um, first of all, 10K subscribers? Come on, bro, like that's beyond me. I don't even know where to start with this video, bro. I'm kind of just like all over the place. I have so much to talk to y'all about, and I can't fit it all in one video. Um, so, yeah. This is my office. I'll give you guys like a tour and everything. Um, probably when everything's like fully, fully furnished. But today I'm honestly just gonna talk to y'all, bro. Updating y'all about my life. And like a little sneaker haul unboxing and yeah. Let's just, let's get into it, man. Catch up on life. This one, this one's not bad actually. Let's do this one next. Cause I really wanna see if shoes is messing out of this first one. seeing one sneaker on top, bro. Let's break before I do this, bro. But yeah, man, life is great, man. I got no complaints other than this, um, if my shoes aren't all in here. Um, but yeah, man, I, I got a new job. Um, life is great. Um, I currently... If you just feel, see if you hear me pause, it's because I'm like gasping for air, hoping that the other pair is there. Um, but yeah, man, like I'm, I'm in years. I'm sorry if I'm like y'all can see as I'm pulling them out, like ain't straight heat in here, like ain't no ain't no chumps. So like it ain't like I'm shipping Air Force Ones or nothing. Like I'm shipping, I'm shipping gems, OGs, like oh they really. They really just be tossing my, these was already on their way out. They, these are old, but like, dang, they really just did my jump. This was not like this before I shipped it, which is crazy. No. They too rough, bro. They just be throwing shit. Like I, a lot of these are old pairs. Like I had them for a while. Like this is a, this is a 2012 pair, I believe. He's just beat up, but come on, bro. I gotta like try to restore him and get some glue. I would never do this again. Um, and the reason that I put them like not inside boxes is because I couldn't ship all of them at once. Um, it would have cost me like over six hundred dollars to pay for each each of these to be shipped. Like within the boxes because I would only be able to fit like six per box, which is a no-no. So, uh, I spent $100 on two boxes. Shouts out to my guy, Edwin, for the plug ski. Um, but yeah, man, good, 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 good feats in here, trust. So, I don't work for the NBA anymore. That job was a six month like internship that could have led to a higher position. Um, and once my position was over, um, they did have a position open that I could have like applied for or, or taken or whatever the case may have been. Um, but the pay just wasn't enough for me. Um, and you know, for the things that I have going on in life, I, I wanted more pay, more chicken, feel me? More yick and wings, man. Pursue it, even though it was cool, it was a great experience working for the NBA, um, working for the Orlando Magic. Um, but I decided to take, you know, higher pay, um, possibly, possibly like 
a greater growth opportunity um, working for EA Sports. Uh, so I'm on the art team or like creative art team for uh, EA Sports, working on Madden and college football, things like that. Um, doing what I love, but I love football, I love art, like putting them together is uh, something that I, you know, passionate about. So, I'm super excited about that. I'm not gonna talk details, but just know, like, you know, I'm living good, man. I got nothing to complain about. Um, I go to work every day happy and enjoying my life, man. So, um, the reason that I haven't really been on YouTube lately is just because, like, I've been working like crazy. Um, and, you know, this is a job that, you know, competition's high. So you gotta have your mind like fully focused on the goal and uh, no distractions. So, you know, I just been like, just like a, a head head full of steam, man. Just, just locked in. You guys follow me on social media, you guys see that. I'm, uh, I have free time now, a little, a little more free time now. So I'm getting back on the tool and I'm also starting my own clothing line or luxury clothing brand. Um, the brand is called Fiend. Um, and you know, the meaning of fiend is just like going crazy and just like, not going crazy, but like focusing, locking in on your goals and like fiending for that, for that one thing that you want. Like, it's like obviously the word fiend can have like a negative like meaning to it, but like not fiending for drugs, fiending for crazy shit, but just like be a fiend, like for success, bro. Like you have to over exaggerate, like your work habits. You have to over exaggerate or like take the extra mile to be great. And that's what the meaning of fiend to me is like I'm fiending for greatness right now. I'm fiending to be the best. I'm fiending to be the best at everything I do, no matter if it's YouTube, my clothing brand, uh, design, anything, bro. Anything. And I have to run to IKEA later, so I guess I could probably record that too and grab some more shelves. That's the meaning of fiend and my uh clothing brand. It's just like just being being great, bro. Just being you like and you know the clothing brand name and just the clothing brand itself is inspired by just my life bro um literally like six months ago in january um, i was living in connecticut bro like a regular joe man regular guy uh, not really chasing i mean i was chasing my dreams but like not how i am now like i was working as a teacher like a paraprofessional at a school um Never, I can't sell these no more now. Even if I wanted to sell them, I could just got damaged. This shoes, bro. This shoes. Um, but yeah, like I was working as a paraprofessional at a like um, like a special needs school. Um, and the pay was like twenty dollars an hour. Like you know, I was just getting by. You know, Connecticut. That's that's okay money. It's not great money. It's not decent. It's, it's, it's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I make it work. Um, so, good heats. Babies, man. Um, but yeah, so I was just, like I said, just getting by, man. Just doing what I had to do to make ends meet. Um, but, you know, every day after work, coming home and working on my own personal goals. Like, wanting to be a graphic designer for an NBA team. Just wanted to be a, a top designer in general, no matter what it is that I'm doing. Um, and, you know, I took the time to to do that. Uh, put in extra work on my off time, be up late nights, early mornings, man, just working. So, you know, I'm happy to be where I am. And, you know, I would have done it if it wasn't for the grace of God, man. It really, you know, drastic change for me, just upping and leaving. Like, I'm, if you watch my... I think I posted a video kind of explaining it. Um, just like how my life just changed. Like the Magic gave me two weeks to move to Florida and uh, work as an intern for them for this for the rest of the season, and I and I did it, man. So um, it was the best thing I could have ever done. You know, it's very abrupt, like leaving my family, leaving my girl, like just just you know taking a risk for something that I didn't know was gonna work out. You know, you just gotta have the faith. Even when I got here, like when I got out of work. I would still be doing work on the side. I would still be like applying to jobs and, you know, creating my portfolio to look the best. Uh, and, you know, 
I would say like my first two months working for the Magic, EA Sports sent me an email and was like, yo, what's good with you, bro? We want to see what, you know what I'm saying? We want to add you to the team type of thing. And I was just like, I mean, I'm currently with the Magic, so I look you want to finish up the season. But then instead of talking that cash, instead of talking that opportunity, I was like, you know, y'all want me, bro? I'll go where I'm wanted, man. And I, and I felt like they would have done anything that I needed them to do, um, you know, to make me feel like I was at home and I was comfortable. Like, they even raised the pay for me to leave the Magic early. Like, you know, stuff, things like that. So, um, I left the Magic with, like, you know, a month left. And, and that was it, bro. Like, so, like, my life has just changed completely. I got my own career, bro. So, I'm going to do that in a separate video. Give you guys a tour. Just bought a new couch. Uh, new bed and everything. And an office space. I'll give you guys a tour of that. I'm waiting for more furniture pieces. And then, you know, get some TVs on the wall. And get some nice decor and stuff. But, for the most part, bro, that is just the update on life. Um, you know, like I said, I'm living good. Life is good. You know, I'm just trying to focus on my health. Getting in shape. Getting back to the beautiful sexy me that i used to be man um, i'm still grabbing a few fitteds here and there i'm um, not really into the fitted content no more just because like it dropped a lot like they don't even make good pieces like that anymore like it's kind of it's the same hats being made with just different teams or different colorways or whatever the case may be like i feel like all the all the flavors is kind of already done um, as you can see this wall isn't big enough for all my shoes because i still have half a box left um, but I also do need to get four more shelves. Just, I'm just putting the pieces together. I got some debt to pay off. And, you know, I got a couple um, just grown folk stuff that I got to take care of before I feel like I'm officially, like, great and settled and living a life that I want to live, man. So hopefully this clothing brand takes off, man. I will pop up some designs on the screen that um, that's going to come up for my next, oh, my first drop, actually. Um, you guys let me know what you think about it. I think it's really fire. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's some heat. And then the people um, that DM me or commented on it on Instagram was, was really fucking with it. So, yeah, man. Um, before I log off of this video, I know it's already probably super crazy long. Um, not log off, but in this section. Um, just want to say thank y'all for 10K, man. Thank y'all for supporting me, even though, you know, I've been on and off just because life has just hit me really fast. And, you know, I've just been trying to pick up where I can and just like hit the ground running no matter what task I'm taking on or what I'm doing in life, man. So uh, thank God for just blessing me for this opportunity. Um, and you know, it's just life, man. I just hope I'm inspiring y'all each and every day that you could do it too, bro. Like it really took me just years of just working on my craft, creating a portfolio. And obviously like all you guys, you know, you don't all do design or whatever, but whatever it is that you want in life, bro, if you work at it, you will never fail, bro. Just keep at it. Keep going. Never give up, bro. Like, obviously, that's cliche. Everybody says the same shit. But that's honestly what it is, bro. Like, be a fiend. Like, you got to want that shit so bad, bro. Losing sleep. Not eating some nights. Like, because you're so locked in. Not that you're just like, oh, I'm not going to eat. Because because if I don't eat, I'm going to be great. No. Like, you're just so locked in that you forget to eat. You forget to, you know what I'm saying, go out with your friends. You forget to go do small tasks. Like, because you're so locked in and focused on your goal, man, all of that will come later. So, um, yeah, so appreciate y'all tapping in with me, man. Like I said, we're going to go to Ikea. I'm going to finish up this sneaker wall real quick. Well, whatever I could fit. No, actually nothing. Um, break down these boxes, bring them to the trash. And then, yeah, man, I'm trying to get like this daily vlog or like weekly vlog thing going. Just because I missed the two, bro. Um, it's just editing videos sometimes. It's time consuming with like work and stuff. But, you know, no more excuses. I'm going to try to really lock in with y'all. I'll uh, give y'all that, like, Florida lifestyle, bro. What is it, what is it really like in a day in the life of a graphic designer, entrepreneur, like, it's a young nigga living in Florida doing his thing, bro. So, um, that's going to be it for this part of the video. I'll talk with y'all later, man. All right. So, I just got off the phone with Ikea. Um, the shelves that I need are not, well they, well, they are in stock. They only have two. I need four. Um, they're not going to be in stock again until next week sometime, so I have to wait. This is my setup so far. Um, just those, really. I have some other, I have a bunch of other shoes, like gym shoes, running shoes. Um, take this vlog until tomorrow, um, and then, you know, see what we get into tomorrow, and kind of just give you guys, like, a nice, like, long weekend vlog. Um, I also might honestly give you guys a tour 
um, of the crib because I mean it's not empty um, but it's not completed so I guess I'll give you guys like a updated one now and then like once I finally finally finish it like you know I'll give you the fully furnished and completed uh, apartment tour I don't really have a, a like amazing life as far as like doing things just because it's just me here um so yeah i'm probably just gonna do some work and then just vibe out man watch some youtube and cook up some some designs for my brand uh yeah so these are my my first drop uh masked fiend tees probably gonna drop these ones first uh see how these ones do i see everyone like going crazy over these when i post them on social media and then I'm gonna go and drop these ones after, so. And then I also have a black version of that one, of the orange one. Getting everything ready, probably buy some poly bags when it's time to ship everything out. I gotta buy a label printer. Um, I'm trying to think if I wanna get some stickers made just for the bags to hand out so people can have some stuff. Um, gotta make some content for social media. I gotta try and start promoting the brain but it's hard to do it because i don't have any of the samples yet um, i actually do have a sample coming in tomorrow but i'm probably not going to use that sample until like later on um this year i just wanted to get it early so that i can like make adjustments to it and get it perfect um so yeah i'll probably unbox that sample for you guys tomorrow and then tomorrow i'm gonna just be vibing i wanted to go to ikea to get the shelves but i can't get them because they're not available so um yeah We'll see what tomorrow brings, but I'm probably gonna just end the vlog for today and catch up with y'all tomorrow when I got something exciting going on. Yes, sir, that would be. Sounds crazy out here. But the sun's starting to come out, as you know, Florida's on that bipolar shit. My baby. I love that my apartment complex got the little locker drawn. And it opens up. Grab your jaw now. And it goes back to regular. Thank you, Daryl. You know what I'm saying? It's probably pouring right now. Oh, not too bad. Sample one is in. Uh, like I said before, I think I showed you guys this early in the video. Um, this is not going to be until like a later drop. I just wanted to get it early because it, it's like, it takes the most work. Like it, I want it to be the like perfect perfection. So I got it a couple months early so that I can be able to tweak it and you know, do whatever, whatever. But I haven't got the sample for my very first drop yet. So I'm going to see the quality hit for if I'm going to be with this, working with this manufacturer. Uh, more or if I'm gonna have to find me a new one or work with the other ones that I already have uh, Right now I currently have like four manufacturers, so Let's see man. I'm excited to see what it looks like Ooh, okay. The detail on this is stupid. Got the double sleeves, bro? Nah, he did his thing. I ain't gonna lie. This is, it's heavy, though. I'll probably go lighter on this one just because I live in Florida. So. And this is Eki Large, and they run kind of big. So this might honestly be a little bit too big. But I got extra large because I like my shit a little baggy. I like the baggy, oversized feel. This is the back. This is supposed to be like red pink splatter when it came out pink, so I'm definitely just gonna take that off all together. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna check it out and see what it looked like and try it on for y'all boys. All right, I already tried it on and looked at it in the mirror. Bro, when I tell you my, my manufacturer went crazy, like the proportions on this is OD, bro. Like the proportions is amazing. Like I gave him the most perfect size chart. Little crop, like slightly crop fit right to the waist. That's the back of it. Got that double like neckline, thick collar, like, but it's snug though, so no baggy V neck, no baggy 
crew, none of that. Like, see how look, the chains popping up over it too. I'm a big boy, man. I'm like 250, so. You know what I mean? I had to give me a little, a little drum, but for my big boys, I could wear this too, man. This bitch perfect. I ain't gonna lie, this bitch hard. No cap. Quality of A1 sauce. Oh, man. Uh, the only thing I will say is that this is this is too big, like the, the font and everything. Like, I want it more like center, smaller. I don't want to be too crazy. But yeah, like, definitely, definitely this smaller. But I'm gonna be rocking this on hard, I don't care. Um, but I probably won't drop this part until like, maybe October. Um, but I'm glad I got it early. Now I know home quality is tough. Like, this quality is a sauce, boy. My new manufacturer, for sure. But only, only critique I have is just this. Getting this, getting this print. Print fix a little smaller. Um, but yeah. Drum hard. Uh, print fix and then the, the pink on the back. Take that off. So comment down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. First sample. I have like three more samples coming. So let's we'll see. Um, but I honestly might have him just make all of my shit. Like, make it look crazy, bro. <laughs>